Uh, I think they've got it sorted out. I think they out. do, Jay. So Brooke Byers, the freshman, taking on the redshirt senior. Byers unranked at this point. Here we go. Mr. Travis Woodlake coming to the mat. Whitlake from Coos Bay and Byers from Zion. All right. Here we go, 184. Again, Oklahoma State leads 12-6. We've had six regular decisions. By five points, three, one, four, two, and six is the biggest margin. Yep. So they've been nice competitive matches. It's some good matches. That's what uh, not only makes it fun as a fan to watch, but definitely in the position that you and I are in, Jay, get to talk about and commentate on these matches. It's exciting for us as well. We'll see what happens here as you get, as we said, late into this dual season. There aren't many matches left until you get to the qualifying tournaments. And remember, the Pac-10 has its qualifying tournament a week ahead of yeah. all the others. Those will be, they usually do anyway. We'll see if they do this year. Let me look here. You know what? They're the same week same as the Big 12 now. this year. Well, they used to be. You they used to be always used a week to be ahead. like that, yep. But I think, ooh. Nice cross ankle. And, and there's two. two. Wait, wait. Nice Stanford has Cal Poly coming up on the five days from now, Friday night, and Oregon State on the 26th, two okay. weeks from today, and that completes the Cardinal dual Good. schedule. Oklahoma okay. State with Oklahoma coming up, Bedlam match Thursday night here, and then at Iowa Sunday. Right. And they'll start getting ready for the Big 12s. Would like hit a, like I said, a beautiful cross ankle pick here on Byers. Make your plans come out here in Stillwater. If you can't, we'll be carrying this match Thursday night, Bedlam match, and then yep. you know, there's a takedown at Big 12 Conference Tournament in Tulsa, Oklahoma, coming up next month. Make your plans there and the NCAA Tournament in Tulsa, right. Oklahoma. There you go. What back a great back. month what of a great wrestling month. for Oklahoma. Great Stay month of wrestling. You are exactly right. Jay. But like shoves him loose. 4-2. Whitlake with a pair of takedowns. Mm -hmm. Looking for another. Good block off there by Byers. Whitlake's keeping the pressure on. A lot of fakes is yes. keeping Byers the, reacting. Yes, keeping the pressure on. A lot of fakes, moving his hands, moving his feet, creating those angles. Ooh, He's watch look out. <laughs> Byers ended up bailing out of that one. And he needed to. Yeah. He was about to sneak him over. He was it close, like. right? He went for it, heard Chris Perry yell that out. Whitlake tried to go get it. Byers probably heard it as well. It's like, eh, let me get up out of here. Let me bail out. Let me go to my <laughs> let me go to my base. I can give up two, and that's right. not as bad as giving up six. Right. <laughs> you know, it's something as a wrestler, you gotta know when to hang in there, when to bail out. You know, obviously a lot of that plays into where you're at in the match, too. So Whitlake rides it out. Six to two lead with a trio of takedowns. Okay, we're going to take a look at the second and third takedowns here by Travis Whitlake. That was just a simple go behind. Had Byer sitting on his haunches a little bit. Nice, easy go behind to secure his two points. Underhook, throw by, clears that leg, tries to go for the snake. Byers feels that and ends up kind of bailing out. Whitlake just ends up going behind him. And he chooses bottom to start the second and spins out of there quickly to make it seventh. Oh, here comes uh, another shot by Whitlake, but a good sprawl this time yeah. by Byers. So 7-2 on the board, 49 seconds riding time for Whitlake. Doing a good job controlling the ties, controlling the center of the mat. I like his movement. You know, he's starting to figure out, obviously jumping two weight classes and wrestling some of these guys. Good lateral movement, some good fakes. Still has the same attacks as he did when he was a 65 pounder. And he really kept Byers from having a chance to focus on his own offense. Right. Oh, there's Whitlake in against all warning on Byers about the same time. Whitlake's going to take his time, get him all the way back. He's obviously in the center of the mat. Let's see if he can cut him down there. Yep. There's his two points there. There it is. He was able to collect that other ankle, and that was it. So nine to two, and 
Whitley in a position to get the first bonus point, perhaps, of this duel if he can continue. Yep. Kind of keeping in mind Stanford, obviously, O State alum Jamil Kelly used to coach out at the Cardinal. Ray Blake, who is now the head coach at Big Easy High School, used to coach at Stanford as well. These coaching trees spread a long way. Man. Rick Lake now trying to trap the head and spin behind. And he, that was, Byers that had was no too fight. easy. Yeah, Byers had no fight there. Um, that was one of those things that obviously you want your athletes to continue to go out and wrestle and fight. Um, Final eight seconds. Whitlake wants to keep him down, not give up the escape. He's up 11 3 now and has 128 riding time as the period ends. It'll be Byers', Byers choice. To see what he Byers. does. Right time. Byers yeah. doesn't look doesn't look like a happy guy right now. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, well, he's behind by eight, but I mean, I'm not sure how into it he is at this point. I, really? Uh, right. He might have kind of had the sword broken in the last takedown or two. Well, and obviously, if you're in Whitlake's position, you're going to keep bringing the pressure. Just shoves him away. So 11-4, but the riding time, of course, is up to 135 for Whitlake. So. He's still in major decision range. Right back kick on the leg, and there's two. Again, too easy. Too easy. Beautiful ankle pick, cross ankle pick. A little catch and release right now. 13-5. Whitlake again, again. And there's two more. 15-5. And that does not count for riding time. So it's really 16-5. 16-6 with riding time right now. The Oklahoma State coaches are still want Whitlake to push the pace here. 116 left. 147 the riding time, so he's almost got that locked up. Yeah, it's pretty close. Remember, Byers, he already has a stall call as well, so that's something that Whitlake can use. And, and he's really not initiating anything. But he kind of did a little counter there, a little half foot sweep. Right. But he's not really had enough zip to. Oh, nice ankle pick by Whitlake. Byers trying to counter, but nope, there's two more. 17 to 5 plus the riding time is now locked. Or 17 to 6, beg your pardon. So it is 18 to 6, realistically. They're trying to tell Whitley to get two more. They want two more takedowns, 35 seconds here. Releases him. And I'm including riding time, 18-7. Okay. Maybe can try to get a stall call in there as well. If he's going to get a tech fall, he's going to have to have a something. Oh, and he gets countered. Good job by Byers. Good job by Byers. Caught him off guard yeah, and did. just jumped right in there. So he 18 to 9, final 10 seconds. Yeah. Good job by Whitlake. He's really pushing the pace there. The match was in control. He's trying to score points. Byers did a great job of catching that, hitting with a throw by on the counter there. 18 to 9, the final with the riding time. The Cowboys up the margin to 16 6. Get ready for the two big weights coming up 197 and the big guys at heavyweight. Good job by Whitlake there. See how Kept the pressure, put, 